Hey, so here's a video I never thought I'd be creating. However, in lieu of my upcoming video, the last thing I'd like to be considered is a hypocrite. I thought making a comment would be enough and putting it in my description, but after thinking about it, I feel a video would be a good idea. So in this last quick video, I'm once again talking about Pyrocynical, who recently released a response to everything, something I'm very glad he did. I had asked for a response, and while it wasn't what I was expecting, I'm glad for the new perspective it gave me on a few things. Since the video's release, everyone has been in my comment section saying that I should take the video down, that Pyro is completely innocent, etc., and I know many of these claims were reactionary to his response. I want to clear something out for all those people right now. I have not now, nor ever called Pyrocynical a child groomer, a pedo, or anything of that sort. I called him a degenerate that did fart inflation roleplay with a minor he knew the age of. One of those statements I've now thought about is not entirely true, or at the least, it can't be unanimously proven. I thought after looking at Pyro's Reddit response and seeing all the evidence that pointed towards him knowing, it would be enough to say he definitely did, but with Pyro's story, I realized I shouldn't have made that claim. That was wrong of me, and dumb. The last thing I wanted to come off as in that video was under-informed, and besides that one point out of contention, I don't think I was. The videos I showcased were heavily biased towards Pyro, and in some cases dismissed evidence that Pyro himself would even go on to substantiate, such as Ida's meltdown, which I commend him for not sticking with. I also never stated Ivory was 100% in the right, as his show case of evidence in the beginning was poor. At this point, I don't think I should say that Pyro is an outright liar, but the fact people are saying he's outright innocent is equally invalid. Did he know of Ivory's age? Did he not? Ivory may have definitely genuinely thought Pyro knew, but he may not have. At this point, it's too difficult to call. I don't like being called someone that slandered Pyro, as that implies I had no evidence to think the way I did and only did so for malicious reason, both of which are huge misrepresentations of my character. I still hold true to many of the ideas I spoke about in that video, and I'm willing to admit when I got something wrong, or at the least not as right as I had thought. I do think Pyro handled it well by admitting he did have those messages with a 15-year-old, which is disgusting. Even if he genuinely did not know, the burden of finding the age was on him, and he admits that was his fault. He admitted his girlfriend was deplorable in how she handled everything. He admitted there should be a middle ground between all of this, and if you want my opinion, it's still bad, but now it's basically just down to opinion, and that's a weird way to look at a situation like this. If anything, Pyro is definitely bad for doing these role plays with people before even asking the ages of them, and Ivory is bad for calling Pyro a child groomer when he didn't even know the definition, but we don't really know the big determining factor, which is, did Pyro know the age from the beginning, which is still up for debate. We can definitively prove that neither side is definitely in the right, but we don't know if either side is definitely in the wrong, and a lot of it seems to just sort of come down to opinion, looking at both sides and deciding to take one over the other, and it gets kind of confusing if you try and take it that way. Like I said, this is a situation unlike any we've seen in the community, and with so much room for subjectivity through the age situation here, I'm sorry I tried to provide that bit as if I knew definitively. I apologize for that specific notion in my video, and I'll try to do better in that regard moving forward. I mostly still agree with my video besides those points relating to that and calling Pyro an outright liar, but I'll still try to do better in the end and make sure I don't make the same mistakes going forward. Thank you for your feedback, it's always appreciated, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.